Hello, hello. Do not adjust your machines. You are watching Clown Lore. A series by none other than Boris the Clown. In this series, we go over clown-coded characters, real-life clowns, and today, we go over comic book clowns by Marvel. Originally known as Timely Comics in the 1930s, rebranded as Atlas Comics in the 1950s, and finally rebranded as Marvel Comics in the 1960s, Marvel has had a very long life of creating villains and heroes that have captivated us for years. With former editor-in-chief Stan Lee, Marvel has had a ton of characters such as the Hulk, Doctor Strange, even Spider-Man, but today's character is none other than Stephen Harmon. He was a high school student from Morristown, New Jersey. Steve was well known for his habit of pulling practical jokes on those around him. During one of his attempted jokes, one of Stephen's classmates, Winston, told the teachers about his incoming practical joke and got him in some pretty bad trouble. Detention. And well, Stephen didn't vibe with these consequences, so he planned his revenge arc on Winston. He wanted to follow Winston around dressed as a clown. This endgame was definitely to throw a pie in his face. Average clown, right? And this actually would have worked, if not for a couple extra-dimensional beings who presented as clowns. They grabbed him and threw him through a portal to their dimension. Steve followed the group into the portal, appearing in the dimension Etch, spelled E-C-C-H. The energy burst from that actually alerted some spidey senses, popped on the Silver Surfer's radar, and even got the attention of Doctor Strange, the Sorcerer Supreme. And on his trip through the old portal tube, his body began to change on a molecular level. His body had become what Marvel calls Electroplasm. Now, Electroplasm is completely indestructible, but also extremely unpredictable. And so, in the Dimension Etch, the scientists bestowed him with a pair of gloves. They contained this thing called a Sibilatroid. They allowed him to control himself and not disappear like Thanos has snapped him. And with these new abilities, Steven saved the day. And upon returning home with his new group of friends, they helped him come up with his superhero name, Slapstick. Now, Slapstick's adventures did not end there. He appears in the Civil War storyline, and even helps the surviving members of the New Warriors. During the Fear Itself storyline, Slapstick appears at a meeting held by Prodigy regarding magical hammers that have crashed into Earth. And he even teams up with Deadpool and the Mercs for Money group. Now, with a resume like that, you may be wondering, what's his skill set? So let's discuss it. First off, Slapstick's body is made up of very unstable molecules. This makes him invulnerable. Advice also in his gloves keeps him from being quote unquote incoherent. This also allows him to change between forms. Apparently, getting struck by lightning gives him a big power boost. The instability of Slapstick's molecules allow him to have cartoon physiology which allows him to manipulate himself in various wacky ways. His second main skill is the ability to break the fourth wall. I'd consider it metasite, but he's actually a lot like Deadpool. And his big weakness is actually being made up of electroplasm. A counter charge at the correct frequency can actually destroy his molecular bonds. This unfortunately is able to incapacitate him, at least until his cohesion bond is restored. Along with his more powerful abilities, he also has some comical ones, such as infinite pockets. He can pull just about anything out of his pockets, but his favorite item to pull out of his pockets is his giant hammer. Now, Slapstick is a more rare clown out there. You don't see many of them in Marvel. And with the dive into this clown ending, we also end this video. I hope we see Slapstick in the MCU very soon. Now please subscribe for the next Clown Lord video when it comes out. This has been Boris, and I bid you adieu.